Did you know that only a small percentage of our communication is actually verbal? Up to 93% of our communication is non-verbal. This includes our tone of voice, facial expression, gestures and body language. You may have difficulty expressing yourself. This can be speaking or writing. You may also have difficulty reading or understanding what others say. Communication difficulties may be caused by stroke, cognitive impairment, progressive conditions, brain injury or brain tumour. If so, there are things that you can do. I'm going to share with you some strategies. If you have difficulty speaking, you may try writing. You may use a whiteboard, boogie board, pen and paper or texting. Yes, no. Thumbs up, yes, no chart or head nod, head shake. Gesture, for example, phone, toothbrush, so so. Facial expression, excited, happy, sad or angry. Body language, arms folded, slouched, sat upright. Pointing. You may simply point to the item or person which you are referring to. You may also use low, medium or high-tech communication aids. These can be used to express how you feel, request items or for social interactions. For more information, please speak to your local speech and language therapist. Strategies to try are taking your time. Allow yourself time to pause and try to think about what it is you want to say. If sentences are difficult or speech is effortful or tiring, say a word or a short phrase. So rather than saying, can I have a cup of tea, please, Shirley? You may just say tea. Keep calm. You may find breathing before and during speaking helpful. If you become frustrated, try to get your message across in another way or leave what you are trying to say and try again later. If you're struggling to find a word, use a different word or try to describe it. For example, say where it is, say what it looks like or what it's used for. Tell the person you have difficulty speaking. This may reduce your anxiety. To support understanding, make sure you have your listener's attention. Reduce background noise. Maintain eye contact. You may ask the person speaking to write down their message or ask them to point to the item or a picture to support your understanding. There are lots of different strategies. Everyone is different, so use what works best for you. Make sure you tell others what you find helpful and how best to communicate with you. Alternative methods of communication may feel unnatural to begin with and will require practice to make this feel more normal. This can be done with your speech and language therapist or in everyday situations if you feel comfortable doing so. Strategies should help reduce frustration and may reduce time trying to get your message across. It also helps the person you're speaking to know what it is you're trying to say. Your speech and language therapist can also provide training to your family or friends so that they can support your communication difficulties. <laughs>